guys, welcome to the Merry Boozers RC channel. Today, me and Papa are putting together the brand new E-Flight Night Radian. We've had the old one back on the channel a long time ago, back before we really knew what we were doing, but if you go way back, you can find it. Now, there's no excuses for not fly. If you say, I work all day long, well, you can fly at night. <laughs> right. That's right, you can fly at night with this one. So, let's start getting into the box, Papa. I mean, this is, we don't got to talk too much about it, guys. Let's start looking at it. It's got uh, 2200 3S battery, nice and easy. It it's does need to be, <laughs> yeah, it's that easy to take it out of the box. Now, guys, with this one, if you have G2 batteries, they will not work in this airplane. Well, they'll work, but you won't be able to run the battery, or the lights. So, if you're going to get the radiant, make sure you have some type of a battery with a balance lead on it. That way you can plug your lights in. Just a little quick disclaimer there. But yeah, let's get this thing out of this box and start looking at it. I just, I just caught on. I, I uh -huh. forgot. Okay, uh -huh. G2s don't have a lead on them, yeah, do they? So you have to have the Generation 1 battery. Okay. Right, there you go. So, so slow down for us old guys. <laughs> he figured it out. All right, guys, we'll see you in just a second. Let's get this thing out of the box. A very simple assembly you got the tail that just slides in and then you got the two wings that and the only thing that plugs in on the wings are for your lights so this is if I'm going to explain this as a very simple glider a powered glider is what this is so if you want to know what a radium is it's a powered glider uh, and we'll get into that a little bit more but let's put the uh, tail surfaces on which is very simple you take this with the uh, graphic side up and you stick it through and it goes through here and then you look and make sure it is equal on each side when you push it through you want to make sure now you want you might want to look at this as far as uh, maybe a tape measure or something here you can use something to, to guide this and make sure you've got it about equal I'd say you want to slide this all the way to the front here okay make sure you have this equal and I guess you could get it crooked but make sure that it's not in there kinked in any way now how you attach this is simply by attaching it with some tape that is provided you will get these four things in the uh, kit. Now normally I'll take an exacto knife because I normally it takes me a while to get these out. But oops, look at that come right off. Do this side down where they can see it. So now what I normally do is I put this on my hobby knife like this. That way I can don't have to and I can look and see where it needs to be. And with that knife, I don't have any problems. So make sure you get it good and attached. There, there's that one. Can't see what we did, but there it is. It's very, very light, but there it is. Yep. So we got to make sure what side this is on. So I have to look over my glasses so it comes off very easily. Again, what I do is I. I just kind of press it home on the end of that so I don't have to, to hold on to it. Gives me a, a little bit more control over the product that I'm trying to put on for us old guys. And of course it went on crooked, <laughs> naturally. Well, we can't see it. We don't know it's crooked from here. It's crooked. <laughs> All right, so I got that. There we go. It, it's on there straight now. Flip it over. 
Now you flip it over. You're gonna, now, uh, here I'm going to take, and now I'm going to plug in, Turn it plug it in. See it? There you go. Okay. Perfect. Now, which way does it go? If you look at the way the plugs are arranged, you'll see a rounded side. So it'll almost tell you which way it goes in by just looking. And, and, and another thing, normally if you're trying to put it in, it don't go in very easily. That probably tells you it's wrong also. So with that said, we put that in a little hole down here, hopefully, and we push it home. I mean, I always like to do something. Just love it. Makes you look just as stupid as you can. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, Alright, here goes, Lori. Alright, here goes, Lori. Alright, here goes, Lori. Alright, here goes, Lori. I hate assemblies. I'll just tell you that right now, guys. I hate them. Makes you look like the biggest idiot there ever was. So, anyway, with that said, now we're going to put the other two pieces of tape on it. And if you think this is fun, try it. Put it together on, on a film. <laughs> You'll look like the biggest boob that ever was. <laughs> it's okay. But we're having fun. Try what it. Hell? Yeah, what the heck. Hey, you know, if you're looking for something to do, father and son, get into model aviation. I didn't do that on that side, so you can't put it right there because there's something there, but uh, anyway, uh, what we're trying to do is get it where it doesn't move. It's basically what you get. Here we go. Let me see this real quick. Ta-da! It was my, my big head in my front? Nah, it looked good. Okay, good. So there you go. That gets the tail assembled. Now we will be moving on to the wings. All right, guys. Wes over here now. I'm going to put the wings on this airplane. So first thing we did is slid the carbon spar in. Now we're going to line that spar to these holes. And start working the wing on. Now, the trick here is find in the middle. And you have to take this wire, and there's a channel, not the easiest thing in the world to hit the little channel. But I think I will be able to reach in from the other side and push that down. Well, let me see for a second here. What do you do with it? You're in the box. Ah, here we go. Reach in there, push the little wiry down, like so, to where I can reach in and grab it, which it is now. Now, gotta get the wire in this. It's a little fiddly, but there it is. A little fiddly. Now we're gonna do the other side, and what I'm gonna do is get the wings screwed on first before I attach it. All these are are the light cables. There's not actually ailerons on this airplane, so all we're doing is feeding the light wire down into it. Same thing on this side. Get that spar going in the wing. Work it back and forth. Don't be pushing too hard on this at the moment. You just want to work it in. Having a nice stand helps too. Okay, getting close. I need to start looking at putting my wire down just like we did for the other side. Get that in there. Make sure everything, this is the hardest part guys, just make sure everything's nice and squished and straight. We're getting close. Get everything lined up for this last little push, like that. 
There we go. Ta-da. So now we need to put our two wing screws in the top. They are Phillips. Hey guys, it's your friendly boozer here popping in for a moment to give you a PSA. I kind of screwed up with this model and I put the wing screws in from the top in this video. And I just realized if I pick this up, Papa can zoom in. They come in on the bottom. So whenever you get ready to do your wing screws, don't watch where I put them in the top. They will screw in, but make sure you screw them in from the bottom on this airplane, not the top. Okay, guys? Now, I'm not sure if I have everything 100% seated. What I want to do is just pick this up with just a second. Get a hold of it where I can really give it a good squeeze. Make sure everything's seated good. Feels like it is. Let's go on and check those wires too before we actually screw this down. They're both out, awesome. Like I said, these are uh, two millimeter, no, excuse me, these are Phillips actually. This is one of the few kits I've seen in a long, long time that have Phillips screws in them. Let's tighten that up. Oops, try not to throw it on the ground. About a mile long. Right. Now we can flip the airplane over. I'm going to try and do this where you guys can see what I'm doing here. Papa, you might have to move the camera around. Alright guys, now that we've got the radium flipped over, there's this light controller board right here on the airplane. You want to make sure you go the same color as the other wire, so yellow is going to be towards the back of the airplane or the aft section, and you're going to plug these two wires in. Now I know my fingers are probably in the way. It's very tight in here. And you got to hold your tongue just right they'll pop in there just like that. We want to make sure that we don't get any of the wires in the servos. So make sure you're not in any of this stuff, guys. And it probably doesn't make a difference which one goes in what hole. I don't, I don't think it does, no. All right, they're both plugged in. Hatch on the bottom is magnetic if you need to get into your servos. Looks good. Close that up. Hey, we're done assembling this thing, guys. Let's turn our radio on and check out how the lights look. All right, guys, the next step in our process is to bind our airplane. So grab your favorite radio. I'm going to be using the NX-8 today, but you could be using this. is a good radio for you guys that have a DXS that came with a uh, ready-to-fly model. You can always use that with this. Uh, what I'm going to do is just go into my NX-8, create a new model, just a blank acro for this one. It's just a simple old three channel. Uh, back up, set this to my side. I'm gonna grab the radium. Pull all the wires up out of the way. This is a safe select airplane. So what we're gonna do is bind in safe select. I'm gonna get my transmitter, push the scroll wheel in once, go to the function list, scroll down to where it says bind. I'm going to leave it hovered over that bind area. It's a little bit easier if you do it this way if you're going to use the button. I'm going to set the battery in the airplane for just a moment. Somewhere out of the way. I'm going to plug it in. Reach in, hold the bind button. While holding the bind button and not letting go of it, I'm going to reach over to the controller and put the controller into bind mode. Let go. And I'm going to let the plane set still so it'll initialize. We should see it cycle twice. 
All right, so it's cycled twice. We are now in safe select mode. To assign our switch, I'm going to take and go both controls to the center and down like this. And I'm going to flip the switch that I want. One, two, three, four. There you go. So you heard it go. So now safe is on this one. You just flip it as fast as you can until you hear that servo go. That'll tell you that it did. So now if I take the model and go up and down so it's safe off. Hard to do this with one hand, but you can hear it going between safe and out of safe. I haven't hooked up the uh, elevator yet, that's why I can't see it going on, but safe select is working at the moment. So now what I need to do is come back here and hook up my elevator. I always wait till the very end, that way I can set the model uh, in neutral and now I can hook up my elevator and make sure it's the correct way because if you need to adjust your elevator say you plug in your elevator with the power on and you have a whole bunch of up you can walk back here and twist that out and that's how you can adjust that out of it so I always wait till this part once I have the airplane on and working to go back here and now if you want to come look this way Papa uh, I'm trying to figure out how to show you guys this but the little connection here goes in the bottom and I need to hook this up. Like so. And now I can look down it and make sure it's flat, and it is. So now we can clip that closed. And we can pull our little piece over it. Like so. And make sure up is up, down is down, just like that. Works good, rudder. Lots of rudder control on this model. Lots of rudder. That's it. So that all works. Now, the Radian, of course, here's the big kicker on this. We can take this little piece right here, plug it into the bind port. Not the bind port, into the, uh, whatchamacall this? Balance lead. And now we can turn this on and the lights all start kicking. There they go. I can see them. So it has a lot of different modes on this, and of course we got all the lights on right now, so let's see here. See if you guys can see all this. But, I mean, there you go. Lights are going crazy. And there's a bunch of different colors and modes and uh, things you can choose from. Let's see here. And then one of these is your controller that you can adjust the colors. I think it's this one. There it is. Yep. So there you go. You got a bunch of different colors to choose from. Can you see this, Dad? Yeah. All right. Colors. Let's see. So you can push the button on this controller and go through the different modes. There's a whole bunch of them. Red, green. Blue. Yeah. So if you have several of these flying at night, you can pick different colors. Uh, there's different, let's see, there's three different modes to choose from. I don't know what this one is. Speed, maybe. Solid, yeah, there you go. Going in. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff to choose from on this. One of these makes it like a rainbow. Oh, I think I'm getting close. There's a rainbow. And yeah, there's all kinds of colors. Oh, there's a rainbow. This is the one that I always see where it's just kind of softly changing around. The only thing with this one is it gets kind of hard to tell which way is left and right and up and down when they're all moving. I like uh, the ones that have, you know, just, I don't know. It's weird. You'll just see when you fly it at night, guys, but there's 10 billion different color options to choose from on it, but that's it. I mean, aside from that, the only thing we haven't tested is the motor. Works. There you go. Throttle has a brake on it, as you saw. Uh, the other setting we should probably add into our transmitter right now. Let's go in and go click the scroll wheel down, throttle cut. I like to put mine right here. So you just go to where it says inhibit, click on it, flip the switch. Now we have a throttle cut on switch H. Come back out. And as you can see, now the throttle is deactivated. So if we're working on the bench or whatever else, and we accidentally hit that, this switch is activated. We won't be able to accidentally hurt ourselves with it. So 
Throttle cut's always a great idea, guys. But that's about it. This airplane is ready to rock and roll. Uh, we're ready to go have some fun. So anyway, uh, if you are interested in getting a Knight Radian, you can always check out that link down in the description. We are Horizon Affiliates. Uh, me and Papa would really appreciate it if you hit those links, guys. That uh, tells Horizon that you're coming from us. It keeps us in these airplanes to where we keep showing you the latest and greatest models from Horizon and Hobby. And you can fly this during the day without lights. Yeah, and you can always, if you just want a regular glider, it's as simple as uh, you have a switch for one thing, so you can turn them off or just not connect it. That's all there is to it. Uh, fantastic airplane, guys. It's one that you can play with in the day and the night. This is a great second, first airplane. Either one, it does have safe in it, so you're gonna have your sensory assisted flight envelopes. Um, it's a three channel airplane. There's not a lot to get wrong with this. It's always gonna be inherently stable. So like I said, looking for a first airplane. You'll have to buy your own radio, but if you're looking for a second airplane, say somebody that's got the uh, trainers from E-Flight that come with the DXS, your DXS will bind straight to this. And a lot of your trainer airplanes use the exact same battery, 2200 3S battery. So. Now this might not be the best windy day of airplane. Uh, yeah, say yeah. It will handle wind, but not real breezy wind. Right, right. It's gonna be, this is a, probably a five to eight mile an hour fly in wind yeah. uh, kind of plane. So um, like I said, if you want one guys, hit up that link down in the description. As always, we love having you here at the Merry Boozers channel, and we will see y'all in the next one when we are flying with our friends. Bye, guys.